these are the people that help me and they can definitely help you guys too so please check them all out hello everyone i'm back with another video uh it's been a little while the holidays were here i had a lot of family and friends over uh things were hectic i was also a little lazy and also i'm not going to make videos just to make videos i do this as a hobby I do it to help people, so I'm only going to make videos when I feel like I have something to share. Hopefully that's helpful. And I actually came across something while I was printing up over the holidays. So I was working on a mushroom forest with these awesome, I think they're awesome mushroom trees from the Clorehaven Kickstarter. And like many of you, this is a supportless model. A lot of their models are, and I'm in the City of Tarak Kickstarter, which is also supportless houses and buildings and stuff like that. But a lot of those supportless models do have parts that are flat or almost totally flat overhangs. Um, and, and they do print out okay, but if you're like me, like a tiny little bit of OCD, underneath you get like a little bit of spaghetti sometimes, or you see like a lot of like, you really see the lines from the FDM printing because it's printing over air obviously, so it's not gonna be nice and smooth. So afterwards, even though, you know, from the top you can't see it, I go underneath, I'm sanding, or I take my X-Acto, I have to scrape it down and then sand it a little bit, you know, a little post cleanup. It's not terrible, but as I was going through Cura, with all the work I've done in Cura, I never used the Make Overhangs Printable uh, button in Cura, that, that effect. And I realized, you know, I should test this out, see what this actually does, since I've never tested it. I've never even heard anyone else talking about it. Maybe they have, but I never saw it. So I thought, let me see what this actually does. So I read the tooltip, and the tooltip says, that it adds material to the overhangs to make them printable. So what it does, and you can, the, the setting there changes the angle uh, from zero up to 90. So 90 means flat. So if you set it at 90, it wouldn't do anything. If you set it at 80, it means it's gonna make your overhang, it's gonna add material so your overhang is at an angle that's 80 degrees. And if you set it for 50, then it would go to 50 degrees. So whatever you set, it's gonna make material print to make your overhang angle into the model at that angle. So what that means is, and I'm gonna show you, I'm, I'm gonna be done talking here in a minute. We're gonna go into Cure and look how it works. Then I actually print out an example where I set the angle at 50, just so you could see how much it would actually alter the model. And in fact, at that kind of setting, you'll see in my opinion, it ruins the model, but I just wanted to test out and show you guys so you see a real practical example of it. This was done at 80, and at 80, it doesn't alter the model much. It slightly adds a tiny little bit of material on, but it still looks like the model. Like you can't tell looking at it that it really changed anything. And maybe you studied carefully the STL on this, you'd say, oh, I can see it added a little material. But what it did, it makes the underside print out a lot nicer. I had a lot less cleanup and fixing to do on the bottom of this model because I made overhangs printable. The other thing to keep in mind though, there are sometimes you don't want to use it. So let's talk about that really quickly before we go into cure. This, model is a part of a door on a, on a uh, Dwarven airship that I'm doing from uh, Printable Scenery. And one thing I discovered when doing this, this was supposed to have square cutouts for pegs. As you can see, I don't know if you can see from this distance, it looks kind of ugly. It's because I had to drill them out. The reason I had to drill them out is I had make overhangs printable on because this has some overhanging parts. I want them to, I really like the way it comes out. But what I didn't realize when I first did it, because I hadn't looked underneath my model in the preview section, anytime you have pegs on the bottom of your model and you make overhangs printable, it fills in the pegs completely. So I actually had to go back and drill these out. I just didn't feel like printing it again, even though drilling it out was a pain in the ass also. I still have so much stuff to print, it was easier for me to drill. So the point is, you don't always want to use make overhangs printable. It's not like a magic cure you use on every print. I use it on a lot of prints though. Where I also use it, if I'm printing a house, say, from my city of Tarak, and I'm printing one level as a merged file, I mean, the door won't open or close, I turn on the make overhang printable, and again, like 80, that's very reasonable, and it makes the door frame, if there's a flat door frame, instead of the underneath being all spaghetti-ish as it goes across, it makes it very nice. It adds a little material, though. The reason I say you don't want to use it all the time is if it wasn't a merge level, and I printed it like I want some other versions that have a working door, I wouldn't have make overhangs printable on because there, when it adds material, it might make it so parts don't fit. So I would advise not using make overhangs printable when you're doing any uh, subsequent level of a model that has pegs to sit on another part because the peg holes will fill in. So don't use it. And also be very careful if that it doesn't alter any part where another part might have to fit into it because it does add material to the print. But 
on many prints, that won't be a factor. And where that doesn't matter, I think Make Overhangs Printable just makes your model come out a lot better with a lot less uh, cleanup after you're done, which for me, like I said, I know you don't see the underside of the model, but I can't help it. I'm gonna paint the underside, I see it. Uh, I want the model to look as good as possible when I turn it over and Make Overhangs Printable really you know, didn't alter the look of the model really in any perceptible way, but did make it print out a lot better underneath. So I'm really happy that I started using this. I don't know why I didn't discover the button sooner or hear anyone mention it, but I definitely advise using Make Overhangs Printable and usually at around 80, 75 to 80 is your setting of how the angle it adds to the material. Um, but you'll see it when, I, when we go into the Curo Slicer, which we're gonna do in a minute, uh, you'll see how you can preview. It shows you what material gets added in the preview. So if, if you think it's adding too much or altering the model, then you just go and raise the angle, like if you have it 75, it's too much, go up to 80 or 85, see what it looks like. But it will make your models print better. So hopefully uh, this will help you guys out. So without any further ado, let's jump into the Cura Slicer, look how this actually works, and stay tuned at the very end, I'm gonna show the pictures of this, uh, a different version of this tree, print it with the 50 degree make overhangs printable, and you'll just see how horrible it looks. But you're also gonna see it in the slicer coming up. So uh, thanks for tuning in and stay tuned. So here we are in Cura, you can see the model. Uh, if you look on the right on the experimental settings, you see make overhangs printable. And here I have it set at 50. So once you slice it and you're in the prepare mode, you don't see any extra material here. It's only if you go into preview mode that you can see how it's gonna alter your model. So like I said, make sure if you're using Make Overhangs Printable and you want to see how it affects your model, make sure that after you slice it, you hit preview. Then you can see the uh, actual material that gets added and you can see how it's altering your model. So here at 50, you can see the overhangs in red that are virtually flat that we want to change. That It's going to change to 50 degree angles. And you can see under each mushroom cap, basically, there are flat areas where it's going to add material. And all those red spots are going to be made so there's a 50 degree angle of material. So like I said, when you see the close-up pics after which I'm going to show you at the after the Cura section, you'll see how I think it ruined the model. But if you did it at 80, 85, like I said, it looks really good. So here, we're going into, now, now look, you see those huge triangles of material that were added? And that's actually how it's going to print out. So in, again, in prepare mode, you, can't, you don't know it's going to do that. And then you preview and you see it's going to add a ton of material and really alter the model. And again, that's because the angle is setting at 50. Okay, if we change that angle, right, make it 80, then slice it again. Now again, in, again, in prepare mode, you can't tell the difference. The model is going to look the same, 50, 80. doesn't matter what you set because you can't see the extra material. Okay, and unfortunately, slicers are not that fast. So once it's sliced again and we have a much uh, higher angle set and then we go into prepare into the uh, preview mode and it's, as it prepares the layers and then it'll show us. Now you can see it only added very little material. In fact, the, the model doesn't really look altered at all, but it has been. If you, if you click back and forth, you can see that that it has added a little bit of material on those flattest parts to angle them into the rest of the model. So the model's still gonna look great when it's done. It's not, you're not changing what the artist did really, but those areas won't have the spaghetti-ish feel underneath or look or lines or, you know, it's just gonna come out a lot better. So, you know, again, going back and forth, you can see it adds a tiny little bit of material. It's just gonna make it print out better. And, and it does work well because I printed a bunch of them, but let's go into the 50 degree one and look at it from the top still looks fine so maybe maybe you won't care that much although i think at the edge of one you can see a little material poking out but look from the underside it printed out those huge triangles of material and to me this ruins the model this you know this model the way that came out i actually threw it out i just printed it out so i could show you guys but so you can see it really does sculpt on all this extra material to to the angle you set so it's a very interesting setting i think very very useful here's one's all printed out you know, with the eight set at 80 and, and, and they all look great. So uh, I hope you guys learned something today. I hope this makes your prints come out better, your overhangs come out better. 
And uh, please like, please subscribe, please check out my other instructional videos. And I hope everyone has some happy and successful 3D printing. Thanks.